Juan Sebastián Chamorro wanted to be the next president of Nicaragua. I decided to run along with other six colleagues, and all of us were captured. More than 200 others were also imprisoned, considered to be political enemies of the Daniel Ortega regime. They accused me of treason to the homeland, which is an invention that they found, uh, you know, the typical uh, language that dictatorships uh, love to use all the time. For 20 long months, Chamorro sat in a cell, thinking he had 12 more years to serve, simply for opposing the man in power. This is a high security prison where I stay behind bars uh, without communicating with my family for a year and a half. But suddenly, in the middle of the night, Chamorro was pulled from his cell and ushered onto a bus and then to a plane. We were uh, deported, basically, uh, to the United States. Bittersweet tears fell as he and the others hugged and cheered, stripped of their nationality, but headed to freedom. It was a, a, a beautiful expression of uh, generosity by the American people. I mean, I'm reunited with my wife, with my daughter, because of what America did. The Biden administration orchestrated the release under the humanitarian parole program announced in January. Chamorro is hopeful that one day, under different leadership, he'll be able to go back home.